Hi everyone, welcome back to my uh, video here on the Rainier Cherry Tree. This is my third uh, video on it. Today is June 22nd, 2024. Uh, we planted this one last year, so it's been in the ground for a year now. And uh, we live in Zone 5, Prince Edward Island, Canada. Uh, the leaves, as you can see, it's uh, very healthy. I don't have any pest problems yet. Well, I've got a couple, you know, holes here and there. But uh, overall, it's pretty healthy. I don't uh, spray any chemicals and stuff on it. I just leave it, let it be. And uh, so this is the third video on it. And this is the update on it. Right now, we got a whole bunch of green cherry tr cherries. And at the top here, the cherries are starting to turn pinkish. I think it's turning colors. The cherries are not that big, so hopefully it gets bigger. But right now, I would say there's probably, I don't know, roughly 30 cherries on it. This is the first time it's, uh, it has fruit. So I'm very excited. I never had homegrown cherry yet, even though I got, like, I don't know, five other cherry trees but the rainier one is pretty much i think my favorite or the one i'm looking forward to i have uh two bing cherry trees uh two rainier i mean uh, two stellars over there that one's stellar the back one is stellar this one here is the bing uh this one here is four and one cherry and then that one over there is four and one and then this one is the rainier and uh, I, my secret is, uh, I don't know, right now all the cherry trees are healthy. And my secret is I put seafood compost in the springtime. And uh, I don't spray with nothing. I just leave it, let it be. So it's really important, I think. And uh, hopefully I'll keep you guys updated when I harvest it. When the time comes, maybe, I don't know, two, three more weeks or so. And uh, I'm really looking forward to having my own Rainier homegrown cherry to eat. I've been waiting this for so long. I don't know. It's like the best feeling in the world. It's to uh, finally eat your own cherry that you grew. So let me know if you guys uh, have any other experiences with your uh, Rainier cherry tree. And that way we can learn from each other. I'm still learning as a gardener. I'm not an uh, expert or anything, but I just started gardening probably like two and a half years ago. And before that, I knew nothing about growing anything. Ever since COVID came, I just got all depressed and stuff and uh, started doing gardening. And doing gardening it just uh, helps me uh, cope with the, I don't know, the stress and stuff. So every time I just get, feel down or depressed or not feeling good, I just come out to the garden and just sit and chill and look at the bumblebees and how far the plants has grown and just enjoy the quietness of the garden pretty much. I'm pretty sure a lot of people out there feel the same way I do, you know. Gardening is like very uh, uh, therapeutic. Instead of me going to uh, like psychiatrist to talk about problem problem stuff, I just look at the trees and calms me down, lowers my blood pressure, more relaxed. So yeah, let me know how you guys, uh, you know, how you feel about your garden and your rainy tree. And then uh, we'll go from there. I hope you guys uh, enjoy my video. I have other videos that uh, on my garden too. I got has caps and I don't know apple trees, pear trees, a whole bunch of other stuff. So thanks for watching, guys.